Hello, this is Melanie from Mel's Joyful Nursery. And I'm doing a giveaway for uh, Maya. Uh, Maya's Dolls and Fun. Her daughter's getting married next year. And <clears throat> she's doing a giveaway. About one thing that you could tell the couple to be. For to have a wonderful marriage. <clears throat> the one thing that I could think of that affects just say I'm using Raggedy Ann and Andy they've been together for years and these are mine that are in my collection I collect them also along with teddy bears <clears throat> this was uh, Raggedy Ann was made for me by hand uh, from my mom and she had a lady um, cut her out and do the sizing and everything she's four foot tall and you know when Raggedy Ann she has a heart and it says I love you well her heart says I love Melanie and years later I was in a um, thrift store not a thrift store but it was a um, a store where people had booths you know of antiques and things and I found this Andy He's a little bit shorter than her, <laughs> but he's three foot tall, and I thought they would be great together. And the thing about having a wonderful marriage <clears throat> is going 50-50, but sometimes there's that 60-40, and the 60-40 is what you, can get you in trouble, or him in trouble, <laughs> but you got to give just a little bit both of you don't be um, inconsiderate of his things that he likes or the things that she likes or just say go into Christmas holidays family for the day just say he may say well we're just gonna go see my parents well, you can't do that. She has family, too, that she wants to see. So if you live sort of close together, you could do, you know, the morning time, lunch time with her family, and the evening time with his family. Or you could even do it Christmas Eve with one family and Christmas Day with the other. Uh, don't just say, well, we're going and that's that. That's not... A way to have a marriage you need to sit down and talk about things like if you're going to buy a car if you're going to add on to the house you need to sit down and go over those things and get a pen and piece of paper out you know well I want two windows in the front and four in the back well he might want the opposite you know so work out a compromise there uh, if you can and try not to fight but it's very hard nowadays because things are expensive it's hard to live especially just off of one paycheck it usually takes two especially if you have a house and cars and children coming along but um, I thought this would be the couple that could help give a little bit of advice about 50-50 <laughs> and um, Raggedy Ann says well Andy he's 60 and I'm only 40 you know sometimes that might be just like for supper you want spaghetti and he wants tacos well What's the quickest that night? Are you tired? Which one's the quickest? That would be tacos, probably. And the next night, have spaghetti. And just say, hey, we can have your tacos, but tomorrow night we're eating spaghetti. Is that all right? You know, can we compromise? Something like that. So that's what I say. It's the 50-50 thing. And you can see how big they are. This is my arms. <laughs> I got a lap full of babies. My Raggedy Ann and Andy. 
So that's my one advice to the new couple that is getting married next year and I wish them the best of luck the best of all the prayers there will be ups and downs but like I said stick together and do the 50-50 just like Raggedy Ann and Andy <laughs> so that's my advice and we wish you a wonderful day or night, wherever you are. From my nursery to yours, goodbye.